On my previous video I had applied Ubuntu patches on Fedora, and I modified them to make them work with GNOME official theme. And then I got lots lots of requests, and by lots lots I mean to, to demo it normally on Ubuntu. So here we go! So, I will open Files app for reference, and that is the default starting theme. And I will open Settings too. A second please, to make some room here. First of all, Appearance and Background panels should be merged, but when you're lazy to develop something properly, you do two panels. Anyway, so I will open a glorious popover too. And we start with the standard theme that basically gets a dark header bar. Then, we have the light option that simply uses light header bar, unless an app is requesting the dark variant. And last but not least, we have everyone's favorite, the dark theme. And I must admit, I really love these purple controls. So, that was everything about that, so let me close all those and show you one more thing. If you're asking me, Ubuntu from desktop it is done, over, finished, no more! The thing is, there are better Linuxes than Ubuntu, especially if you're starting now with Linux so you don't have the familiarity factor. For example, we have a constantly improved Fedora, we have the new Silverblue, we have the very promising clear Linux, and of course we have Manjaro, that is like the new Ubuntu, a Linux for everyone and everything. Anyway, back on what I want to show you. So this is Ubuntu with minimal installation, and when we open applications? Oh, a parenthesis. Ubuntu hasn't updated yet to GNOME 336, so it is pointless to demo more stuff. I'm closing the parenthesis. So, we see a Snap Store app, and right next to it we see a software app. And let me open both. Okay, I'm not sure who exactly thought of that in Ubuntu but we have two app stores by default, on a freaking minimal installation. On the left is the Ubuntu Snap Store, and on the right is GNOME Software. From Snap Store we can install Ubuntu Snaps, from GNOME Software we can install Ubuntu Snaps. I'm sure you can justify this approach, but don't even get bothered. That definitely isn't a serious desktop, and Ubuntu has gone beyond been ridiculous, to fully retarded. Speaking of retarded, don't miss to participate to my retarded voice survey. Because if you do, we will hunt you down, we will find you, and we will install Ubuntu to your laptops.